This week, I took a piece of cottonwood bark and made this pretty sweet little carving. So, if you want to see how I did it all, stay tuned next for Peach Shop Mix. Typically when doing these types of carvings, I don't really know exactly where I'm going to begin, but in order to give me a jumping off point, I like to first take a picture of the piece that I'm going to be carving, and I load it into an app on my phone called Light X, which allows me to basically overlay different pictures and um, just to sort of give me some ideas of what I, you know, kind of the direction I want to head with this. Um, even though in this particular carving, um, the design kind of changes throughout, but it just helps to kind of give me an idea of what I want to do. Once I'm happy with the layout, it's just as simple as printing it out and I can use it as a reference. So these are the tools that I used uh, for this carving. About 90% of the work was done with those two right there. Um, just a regular half inch bench chisel. And then this is a seven millimeter radius uh, palm chisel. And then of course a good Dremel attachment. This is the uh, Dremel 4000, which it's what really came in handy was being able to dial back the speed because the cottonwood bark is so soft, you will eat through it quickly if you go too fast. So you wanna be able to dial down the speed if possible. So this came in uh, really handy for that. This here is just to kind of show you guys how this cottonwood bark is constructed. It's basically just a lot of thin little layers of cellulose and is really easy to carve. And to begin, basically just start hogging out as much material as possible. And it was pretty cold in my shop that night, hence the reason why I'm doing this in my living room. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and shut up and I will let the uh, music play and you guys can see how it all turned out. <laughs>
Well, there you have it. Thanks for sticking around, you guys, checking it out. Don't forget to smash that like button and share it with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, I invite you to hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I will catch you on the next one.